In this video, we will be focusing on the following three topics, utter depth, rear udder, and udder cleft. Each one has a different purpose to help the cow produce high quality milk. Depending on the quality of each characteristic, the udder will increase or decrease in value and productivity. According to the PDCA scorecard, each characteristic you see mentioned has a different point value. Udder depth is evaluated by standing behind the cow and looking to see how far off the ground that udder hangs. A moderate depth ending at or right above the hocks is ideal. An udder that is too uptight will not have enough capacity to hold much milk yield. On the other hand, an udder that sags or hangs too low to the ground is susceptible to infection and contamination. In the images presented here, the udder on cow B is a shallow udder with not much capacity to produce large quantities of milk. The cow A udder has a depth that ends at or slightly above the hocks. As a judger, you want to have the udder floor, which is the bottom of the udder, similar to cow A. The rear udder should look full and plump. There should be a uniform width, rounding at the bottom going towards the head of the cow. Also, a judger wants the top portion of the rear udder to look wide and high. In the cow A photo, the judger can see good roundness, uniform width, and a high firm attachment. Cow B does not have much capacity or room to hold milk and is loosely attached, meaning the cow would have lower milk yield. A judger should look for cow A. Like rear udder, the view of this characteristic will be from behind the cow. The judger is mainly looking at the distance from the tip of the vulva, also known as the ischium, where breeding occurs, to the top of the udder cleft. The udder cleft, which is a section of the medium suspensory ligament, is the indention or fold located on the back of the udder, splitting the udder in half. Having a strong, visible udder cleft is important for firm attachment. In the photo on the right, cow B, the judger can see that the distance from the ischium to the udder cleft is much greater from the photo on the left. Cow A clearly provides a short distance from the ischium to a deep udder cleft, showing the halving effect, which once again provides support and assistance in attachment to the body. A judger should put cow A over cow B. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock judging videos as well as the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.